Hey, it's my favorite poets. How are you today? Awesome. Are you ready to learn about a new poet? Who remembers the two we've learned about so far? Shel Silverstein. Douglas Florian. That's right. And today I want to introduce you to a poem by Nikki Giovanni. Um, this is one of my favorite poetry anthologies. When we have a book with multiple poems in it, it's called an anthology. This one is called Hip Hop Speaks to Children. And it's got all different, it comes with a CD actually, because it shows you how um, really poetry can be put to a beat. And that's what songs are. They're poems, but music. So all of these come with the actual, um, the poet of each one, because they're by different people, uh, singing or chanting or reading their poems. So it's pretty cool. But the one that I am going to share by Nikki Giovanni is not from that book. Um, it's on one of the slides I'm going to show you. And first, I wanted to point out this map. It's a map of what? Our country, the USA. And does anyone know what state this is that's red? We're up here, Massachusetts. What state is this? Tennessee. And the poem by Nikki Giovanni that I'm going to be reading to you today is called Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay. And before we read, I want you to know that she's going to be talking about Knoxville because it's the city she grew up in. And she's talking about summertime in Knoxville. So I want you to close your eyes and make a picture as you listen. Knoxville, Tennessee by Nikki Giovanni. I always like summer best. You can eat fresh corn from daddy's garden and okra and greens and cabbage and lots of barbecue and buttermilk and homemade ice cream at the church picnic and listen to gospel music outside at the church homecoming and go to the mountains with your grandmother and go barefooted and be warm all the time, not only when you go to bed and sleep. Wow. Okay, open your eyes this time as I read it. And this time I really want you to look at the poem. I always like summer best. You can eat fresh corn from daddy's garden and okra and greens and cabbage and lots of barbecue and buttermilk and homemade ice cream at the church picnic and listen to gospel music outside at the church homecoming and go to the mountains with your grandmother and go barefooted and be warm all the time not only when you go to bed and sleep. So first let's talk about what, what foods does this poet like to eat in the summer, right? She started out really thinking about all those foods. I saw okra and greens and cabbage and barbecue and buttermilk and ice cream. Yeah, she wrote about a lot of foods. Foods sometimes create strong memories for us. Um, and what what did this poet do? Do you notice any punctuation? My goodness, there's no commas or periods in this. She kind of just kept going and going. Why do you think she did that? Because it's kind of like a memory just coming back to her and she's just shouting it out. So sometimes poetry breaks the typical rules of writing. All right, so, you know, I do want you to notice that not only does she talk about food, but she talks about a lot of details of what she likes to do with music and the mountains and all that. So now it's time for us to think about what we like to do in summer. And we want to try to use some really strong details and words so that when we write our poems about summer today, they'll be fantastic for the reader. So let me go ahead and, all right, we need a new slide here. Okay, so I am going to put on top of this summer words. And let me just move myself over here. Okay, so brainstorm with me some words that we can use to describe things that we like to do in the summer. I like to swim at the park. Okay. 
What do you guys at home like to do? Ride your bike. That's pretty. What else? Go swimming with my dog in the pond. Okay. Go swimming with my dog in the pond. What else? Oh, visit my grandfather. Very nice. Oh, okay. You, you um, do you play baseball games or go to baseball games? Play and watch baseball games and eat snacks. Okay, let's talk about what kind of snacks do you guys like to eat at baseball? Popcorn. Ice cream. A lot of you get ice cream. Me too. Oh, you make your own popsicles? Fun. Watermelon, okay. And, oh, and you have a seed spitting contest. That sounds fun. Cold lemonade and lemonade stands. Okay. Hot dogs and cookouts. All right, this is a great start to our summer words. Now, the next thing, there's way more, and this is just to get our ideas going. The next thing I want to point out is that, let me go back to Nikki Giovanni's poem. So she starts out this poem by saying, I always like summer best. You could start your poem the same way as her, or you could come up with another way to start your poem. Anyone have any ideas of how you could start your poem? Ways to start your poem. So you could be just like Nikki Giovanni and say, I always like summer best. What else? I have an idea. I might write, I love summer. Could start with I love summer. Any other ideas? I think I'm gonna start with here's what I like about summer. Okay. Baby Echo, do you have any other thoughts? I'm gonna write I can't wait for summer. Okay. So these are just some ideas that could get you started on your poems today. And maybe you have some other ideas that didn't make our list. So go back to the chart as you need to give you some ideas. And I want you to take about 15 minutes working on your poem of what you like about summer. Can't wait to read it.